table. Wait. Okay. Everybody, I want to see your little mouths moving, and I want to hear little sounds coming out of those mouths. Today we have talked about that witch. Let's do it again. Today we have talked of that witch. We are going. This one word by itself means are going. So let's go back. Today we have talked of that witch. We are going. I'm sorry, we are going to do this. One more time, everybody together, loud. Today we have talked of that wish we are going to do. Let's do that again. Everyone say, are going. Are going to do. Are going to do. Are going to do. should have is going to go because we're talking about the future something she's going to do really soon this weekend all right so claudia is going to go to the training of swimming this weekend so let's do that again okay claudia is going to go to the training of swimming this weekend and then i just realized i did the same thing with this one silly me Claudia and Natalia vont aller va aller va jouer va regarder. Okay, we're good the rest of them. I just left that off a couple. All right, so when I print it for you, it'll be correct, even if you wrote it wrong on your paper. All right, so did we do the Claudia and Natalia yet? No. Okay, all right, here we go. Claudia and Natalia are going. Are going, are going to go to the fair of Frederick this weekend. Good job. Soon is going. Is going. Stop. To go to church this weekend. Now, literally, right here, this is the church. She's going to go to the church this weekend. Tiffany is going to play. At tennis. Weird, right? Let's do that again. Tiffany is going to play at tennis. With, with good job, with a friend. John is going to watch a match. A match or a game? Which one would you say? A game. Okay. Eshawn is going to watch a match. A game. A game. <laughs> Let's do it again. Eshawn is going, going to watch a game of football. American. Good job. Everybody's a cloudy say class. You can give me steel. All right. What, um, going on to our language notes, what we're noticing about language and grammar. What should we put? What do we notice about this? What's weird? 
What kind of things should we be noticing? Somebody give me something. There's Grace. a lot of different ways to say like, the same thing. Okay, do you have an example? Like, um, well, I guess it's not really the same, but like all the to-goes are going. Perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking of. There's a lot of ways to say the same thing. So, for example, going or go. So, when we say je vais, that's I am going. When we say tu va, that's you are going. Okay. When we say il or elle va, that's he, he or she is going. Um, and just so you know, French and Spanish both are, um, are gendered languages which means that you're always having, like it's always he or she. There's never like just a generic. Um, but they ha have added those in in both languages. So one of the things that they've done is co created a pronoun called EL, which is the singular they, like just one person, but you don't know if they're a boy or a girl. And then they've also created, um, so EL and L, that's they are going, but it's for boys and girls, like EL is boys, L is girls. And then they have EL, which is, um, a neutral form of they, just so you know, just in case that's interesting to you. Um, so, but going, you'll also notice that we, we use one word and they use two. For example, they means am going, okay? So it's not like they just say, I, they don't have to say I am and then another word for going. Um, they by itself means am going. So the same thing with like il va, that means he goes or he is going. And then we have the verb aller, which is the infinitive, which means to go. So that's why you say like, I am going to go when you're talking about the future. Je vais aller. Anything else that we should notice? Is that good? Okay, when you're done writing that, you can put everything away but your pen or pencil. giving you guys roster numbers block four so this is the first time that we've done something like this this is called a dicte which means dictation which means you're gonna write in French what I say in French onto line a and then I'm gonna show you what it should look like don't correct you're not gonna get marked off if you write it incorrectly okay this is what you have to do, though, to get 100%. Circle anything that was different in your teacher's version. Okay? So you're not going to get counted off if you write it wrong, but you have to notice the differences between what you wrote and what I wrote, and you have to circle them. Okay? So it's easy to make 100%. As long as you do that, you'll get 100. And then in the box, 
you're going to draw some illustration to show what the sentence says. Okay? What's up? We have to take the first student. Okay. Okay. So, put everything away. Don't have any of your papers out. Don't look at anything. There's no way to make a zero on this unless you just don't do it. Okay, so all you're going to do is I'm going to say a sentence in French. I'll repeat it like three times to make sure you get it. And then I'm going to show you the correct answer. You're going to write the correct answer down and you're going to circle any differences between the two. Does that make sense? Okay. So, the sentence is Je vais dormir ce weekend. I'll say it two more times. Je vais dormir ce weekend. Je vais dormir ce weekend. Now, circle any differences. First of all, write that down. Copy this down on your paper on the second line where it says B. Copy. And now, circle any differences between the two sentences. If there's no differences, then just put a big smiley face next to it. If there's no differences, just put a big smiley face next to it. Then, in the box below, draw a picture showing what this means. You've seen my artwork, don't be embarrassed. Say, Terry, it's very cute. You could just draw the face of the person doing that activity and draw some of the letters that represent what that activity is, and then I will know that you know what it meant. Don't, it doesn't have to be complicated. So it's not complicated. 